Hello everyone and welcome to a very special vlog. We had the wonderful opportunity last week to actually go canoeing for the very first time here in the Appalachian Mountains on a lake that's up here and it was really, really beautiful and really special. Thankfully, my boyfriend was very understanding at me having my camera out half the time. He took control of the canoe and let me get a lot of beautiful footage for you guys. It was definitely a unique experience. I have never been canoeing before so after I figured out that we weren't going to tumble out of the boat and drown, I really was able to relax and enjoy the beautiful scenery. North Carolina is definitely one of the most beautiful states I have ever been to in the United States yet, and it is full of so much biodiversity, and I'm so excited to be able to share some of that with you guys. The lake was absolutely beautiful. It was a little bit windy, so we had to fight the current, but for the most part, you could just sit back and enjoy. And it was really fun when we would go up along the river bank, or I should say the, the shore bank, and see all of the plants, the ferns, the mosses, so many different types of little teensy plants that would grow along the edges. And there were so many spiders. They had set up their webs in the beautiful azalea bushes that you can see up along the river bank. It was so much fun. Yeah, but what are they, do you think? I have no idea. Should we take one as an example? A specimen? Yeah. Specimen collecting? Mm -hmm. Whoop! Prickly. <laughs> oh, beaver. Beaver? Oh, yep, it's a Labradorius beaver. Or did you get a specimen, darling? Yep. Look at how that dead tree. But probably the most exciting part of the trip had to be when I looked up from having just collected that specimen and there was a blue heron just walking in the water in front of us. It had blended in so well with the shadows that even though we were only about 10 feet away from it, we really hadn't seen it at all. And after we saw it, it was really fun. We kind of put our canoe up a little bit closer to where it was and tried to get a better view of it. And he was just, you know, not bothered, just ignoring us. When we managed to get close enough, though, we could see that it was definitely actively hunting for the small fish that these blue heron really enjoy eating. Oh, it was so much fun watching him dive and to try to get in at the little the little fish and the little creatures that were down uh, along the riverbank. It was really shallow, so it was probably a great place for him to hide kind of under the trees, hold very still, and then try to make a quick dive so that he could get some prey. He didn't really like it when we got too close, though, so he flew off to the other side of the lake, uh, and we kept just kind of following him, and eventually he, like, got up and, like, flew really far away, so he was done with us, and we decided not to pursue him when we saw him later, because we wanted him to be able to get his food, and if a canoe comes along, it's going to chase away all the little fish and frogs that he'll eat, but it was just such a beautiful day, and it couldn't have been more perfect. The weather was great. The water was fine. When I looked down and realized that I could actually touch, like I reached down too, because water can trick you. It can look shallow and it's actually really deep, but I could actually touch the, the bottom of this lake with my paddle and I felt much better because I can swim, but you know, you just, you get nervous when you're in a boat. But it was really beautiful and I cannot wait until I'm able to go out more and adventure more so I can show you guys some of the natural wildlife that's here while I'm here. We won't be here forever and I want to share as much of it as possible with you guys. Um, it was just, it was so nice and when you have a passion for the natural world, sometimes it's really hard, especially when you live in a city, to remember to go out and get into the woods and get out in the mountains if you happen to live near them on the beach wherever it is where you can have a few minutes of that connection the unspoiled connection where there's not other people there's not the sound of cars there's nothing except just you and nature and you can sit in it for a little while and just rejuvenate at least that's what i need i know that i really needed this day especially to feel so out in the wild out on the middle of the lake and you look around and all you can see are the herons flying along the edges and a few other people canoeing and mostly just this big expanse of water 
Oh, and there were so many amazing things to see. All of the different like logs that were floating by, all of the grasses that would grow on a dead log that was just like stuck in the middle of the lake. And there it is in the middle of the lake growing. And we went down every little avenue and bayou and estuary like that we could find. All the little the little things, the little rivers and lakes and creeks. And we went as far as we could until the canoe would hit the sand bank and we had to turn around. But it was a really beautiful day, and I'm really happy to be able to share some of it with you guys. And get out there. Enjoy it. The world is here for you to enjoy, so go, go, enjoy it. And just take in some of the wilderness. Every now and then it's important to remember that the wild is still out there, especially so we can figure out our place in it. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and I hope that these relaxing scenes from my canoeing trip are enjoyable to you. And I can't wait to bring you more. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.